morning, everyone. Josan. First, let's let's read it, our scripture for today. Uh, the scripture is uh, two parts, uh, Hebrews 11, 32 through 33, and then verses 39 through 40. 因為我說十一章廿三、廿二、廿三節同埋咧三十九至四十節。And what more should we say? I do not have time to talk about Gideon, Barak, Samson and Jephthah, about David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith conquered kingdoms, administered justice and gained what was promised, who shut the mouths of lions. 我又何必再說呢?若要一世說,基甸巴拉參孫耶弗他大衛撒母耳和眾先知的事,時間就不夠了。他們藉著信就戰勝了敵國,身將了正義,得到了應許,逃住了獅子的口。These were all commended for their faith, yet none of them received what had been promised, since God had planned something better for us, so that only together with us would they be made perfect. 所有這些人都藉著信得了稱許,卻還沒有得著所應許的,因為神已經為我們預備了更美的事,使他們若不跟我們在一起就不能完全。be a difficult scripture today. And we ask that you uh, work in our lives through through this word and and through our um, brothers and sisters to uh, bring us into your uh, bring us to be able to live as you want us to live. On Facebook, I often get some uh, interesting little videos to watch. And I watched a good one recently called um, uh, Things Are Not What They Seem, something like that. Uh, a young man in a business suit carrying groceries rushes home, opens the door, goes inside. 那個男人呢就著得西裝不停咁樣架,拎住啲誒誒材料啊,拎住啲日常用品啊,咁啊入到屋啦。And he's in a really you see him in a big rush to get dinner dinner together. 你見佢呢都有啲趕嘅喎,就想呢快啲就煮好個晚餐。Looks like he's making pasta, spaghetti, he's got a pot of uh, spaghetti sauce cooking on the stove. 佢可能係煮緊意粉啊,見到呢有一盤 and he set a, a very nice dinner table, romantic, with candles, setting for two people. And he's in the kitchen, he's chopping, uh, who knows what, mushrooms. He's chopping mushrooms. Um, he's got a, a beautiful white long-haired cat with a long tail that jumps up onto the countertop. And he steps on the hand, this cat steps on the handle of the sauce. And it all spills onto the floor and the cat jumps down right next to it. And, and the guy's holding his knife and he, he turns around and and just picks up the cat to get it, you know, so it doesn't get in the sauce. Just at that moment, his wife walks home, opens the door, 
and can see him holding a knife, the cat, and a big red pool of something on the floor. <laughs> well, call the police, run away, divorce that guy. Well, that's things are not always as they seem. And I, I tell this story because uh, often when we're reading the Bible, we see something like what we saw today, what looks like a contradiction. Uh, like today we have this um, uh, statement here I've underlined it. It says that those uh, heroes of the faith gained what was promised. Uh, a few verses down it says that they uh, they, none of them received what had been promised. Now you probably read this or other things that look contradictory in the Bible. Um, and what, what are we to do when we face this kind of thing? Uh, we could just call the police, divorce the man, run away, reject the Bible. Uh, sort of a knee jerk reaction. Sort of a really fast jump to you, Your thinking might be, if this part is untrue, how can I trust that other parts are not also untrue in the Bible? Well, and why should I base my life on a book that is untrustworthy? Now there's a, a, something that Paul says in 1 Corinthians. You might want to, I did not put it on the slide, you might want to look it up if you want. It's 1 Corinthians 15. Verses 12 through 19, you can listen or follow along. 1 Corinthians 15, starting verse 12. Paul says this, But if it is preached that Christ has been raised from the dead, how can some of you say there's no resurrection of the dead? If there's no resurrection of the dead, then not even Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless, and so is your faith. More than that, we are then found to be false witnesses about God, for we have testified about God that He raised Christ from the dead. But if He did not raise Him, in fact, if in fact the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, then Christ has not been raised either. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile, and you are still in your sins. Then those who also who have fallen asleep in Christ are lost. If only for this life we have hope in Christ, we, of all people, are most to be pitied. Well, the truth matters, and if 
things are true, especially some things, it's very important if they're true or not. It makes a big difference. Uh, if your husband has really attacked your cat with a knife, and that's really happened, I think that's something important in your relationship that you should know about. If it's not true, well, you don't want to act as if it is true. If the, if the Bible, the message of the Bible is not true, throw that book out the window and let's get out of here. Now, if we come across, when we come across something that doesn't seem to match up, seems to be contradictory, we, instead of immediately rejecting the whole Bible, we could instead look for another explanation. As we know, things are not always as they, they uh, seem, and to jump to a conclusion might be a big mistake. If you jump to a conclusion about something that's important, you might be right, but what if you're wrong? Uh, the Bible might be a lie, there may be no God, Jesus may be a dead lunatic, but what if you're wrong about that? Then there are eternal consequences. Well, in our study, uh, in our, our look at Hebrews, we've come across this one, uh, this thing. Let's look for an explanation to why there seems to be a contradiction here. Um, uh, often here the problem hinges on the word this phrase what was promised so the first thing we would consider when looking for an explanation is uh, in language some words are used, it's the same word, but it's used with different meanings in different situations or contexts. So here we might say, is this gaining what is promised in verse uh, 33, something different from what was promised here uh, in verse 39? Now it's also good to think about that's the English word, or that's the word in Chinese. Got to go back to the Greek to check. Uh, Sometimes you have different Greek words, this Greek word A and this Greek word B, and they're both translated as one word in English, the same word, sometimes. Uh, so now we're not 
Uh, our Greek expert is not here, <laughs> is he? Uh, I'm not a Greek expert. I don't guess most of us here are Greek experts. Um, Scott自己呢就唔係希臘文專家啦，我都唔係。咁啊，在座我哋估啦，都應該冇乜幾個係。But we can we can do something. Um, in English anyway. There's something we can do and uh, give some answers quite easily in English. Um, 但是呢,在英文來講呢,都可能用可以用我哋自己的辦法呢去理解多啲嘅。Thanks to the internet. <laughs> and if you don't have the internet, you can use a book too. Uh, an interlinear uh, book, which we have in our library. But this kind of thing is also available online. Um, 如果你沒有不上網,我們這裡有些工具書都會幫到你的 And here's a site called Bible Hub 在這個網站叫做聖經的屋仔 So in, in Bible Hub, you uh, punch in your verse, Hebrews 11.33 Click the button that says Interlinear um, 你在這個網站,跟著打你想要的 的經文,咁佢呢,其中一個表現嘅形式呢,就係逐隻字逐隻字譯俾你睇嘅。So means it's going to have the, the Greek verse, the verse in Greek. And then word for word matching up with what the, the English equivalent the word is. 咁嗰啲字譯做英文係用乜嘢英文字啦? There's going to be the transliteration of the Greek word here if you want to look it up in it using the English letters. reference number for a Bible dictionary. 也有賣聖經字典的因為聖經字典每一個字它都編了號碼所以你就可以找回那個字 If you're doing this in books, then you get that book and you go to this number and you can read all about this word in a, in a Greek Bible dictionary 譬如呢一度有個字呢,係3739咁樣啦,你喺聖經裏面呢,唔係你喺嗰個聖經字典呢,你揾3739呢就有曬成本聖經喺邊一度地方有用過呢一個字嘅資料俾你睇。我哋教
the same basic word. 係啦，一開始咧，我哋可以推測啦，既然依呢兩個字可能係講緊唔同嘅意思咧，唔係喎，我哋見到咧喺希臘文原文咧，呢兩個字係同樣嘅意思嘅喎。And we、uh, look at that closely, then we go check. Let's look at the grammar, and this is a link. That's a link, and when you click it, this comes out. 嗱，你撳落去啦，見到誒、呃、英語呢個字啦，佢文法嗰度咧都有一個連結嘅喎、哦。你一撳落去，關於文法嗰度，佢又會彈咗呢一啲資料出嚟。Look, it's a noun. 佢一個名詞嚟嘅。Okay, this is more uh, uh, in depth. This is in depth Greek、uh, grammar, which I don't know, but I know what this means. Number, plural. 咦，我哋見到咧呢一、这個字係眾數嚟嘅喎。Look at there. In, in this thing, there promises. You can see it's plural. 係啦，英文咧，我哋都見到係眾數嘅。And in that other、uh, verse from verse 39, we can、uh, check that out, and we can see the number is singular. 喺三十三節咧，個英句咧係眾數喎。三十九節咧，個英句咧係單數嘅。Now go back to the new NIV, the new one. What do we have? Gain what was promised. Uh, what had been, what had been promised? You can't tell from the English that one is singular and one is plural. You can't tell from this English version. 我哋發覺咧喺誒，即係好彩咧，頭先嗰個網站話到俾我哋聽，原來一個英語咧就係有一個英語嗰個字咧就係單數，有一個英語嘅字咧係眾數喎。但係咧，我哋單單睇英文本身咧，英文有英文本身啦，我哋睇唔到呢樣嘢。中文冇啊，冇加 s。Okay, right. So in Chinese, there's no. 中文就有時更加難睇到係。Now in other English versions, you will see they will make a distinction, and just in English, you will know one singular, one plural. 嗯，但係咧都有另外一啲英文嘅翻譯咧，都俾我哋好清楚睇到一個係誒單數，一個係眾數嘅。Okay, so this is we're starting to get to a, a solution to our question. Oh, in the in the first part, in the first place, the they received well, promises. The the answer to promises. 嗯，啊、uh, ，我哋又我哋又多咗啲資料咯喎。一開始嗰度講話呢啲信心嘅偉人，佢哋都得著所應許嘅。咁嗰個應許咧，就係一個眾數嘅應許嚟嘅。然後 ，So Abraham and Sarah were promised a child, Isaac, and they got him. You don't look very old. 佢博佢 keep 得好好。咁啊，譬如點樣？我哋點樣知道啊？信心嘅偉人佢哋得著所應許噶嘛？因為之前佢講名噶嘛。阿伯拉罕咪同撒拉咪生咗以撒咯，埃撒咪坐咗喺度咯，係咪 ？The Israelites received their promised land of Canaan. They they received the promises. 又譬如以色列人佢哋得到神應許佢哋啦，會俾一笪地方佢哋就係迦南啦。佢哋咪得咗咯，咪有咗咯。Over here, look and look at this. The promise. 但係喺三十九節係乜嘢啊？嗰個應許咧係一個喎，係講緊嗰個應許喎，係未得著嗰個應許。So there is the promise that was not obtained by the heroes of the faith from Hebrews 11. A promise, one of the promise, special one. 咁啊，希望你哋明白，暫時都仲係跟住我哋嘅想法啦，就係嗰啲信心嘅偉人，佢哋係得著神俾佢哋嘅應許嘅啦，已經。但係佢哋咁多個人，仲有一個應許，就係、是、嗰個應許係未得著嘅。咁係咩應許啊？邊個應許啊？ Okay, now, How would how would you answer that? That is by looking at the context of the whole Bible before you would be able to answer that question. 如果你真係要答到呢條問題咧，究竟佢哋未得著嗰個應許係乜嘢應許咧？你就成本聖經睇下啦。And the Jewish people, as a as a group, had received a promise from God of a Messiah, or in Greek. A Christ who would come. Um, 喺對以色列人嚟講咧，佢哋係有一個應許喺舊約嘅時候，佢哋未得到嘅係乜嘢？就係佢哋一路咧就等緊
個救世主道。佢哋個等緊個尼賽亞嚟到。This is a promise they had, but they did not receive in their lifetime the answer to. 嗰啲以色列人咧喺佢哋再生嘅日子咧，佢哋未等到嗰位救世主出現。So here we can see that we have the appearance of a contradiction, but not really a contradiction. Two different categories of promises. 喺第三十三同三十九節，我哋一開始睇咧就覺得係互相矛盾啦。但係我哋揾咗啲資料之後咧，我哋就知道哦，根本講嘅冇錯，同樣都係應許，同樣都係上帝應承佢哋會做嘅嘢。不過咧，應承嘅嘢係唔同嘅喎。Okay, so next part,、um, the verse、uh, that we read,、uh, they did not obtain verse thirty nine. Uh, they were commended for their faith, yet none of them received what had been promised. Verse 40: Since God had planned something better for us, so that only together with us would they be made perfect. 三十九四十节，希伯来书十一章，这些人都是因信得了美好的证据，却仍未得着所应许的，因为上帝给我们预备了更美的事，叫他们若不与我们同得，就不能完全。Now here's something that's not a contradiction, but just kind of hard to understand. Um, 呢兩節經文咧冇嘢係矛盾嘅，不過咧好似難啲令人明白喎。What is the better thing planned for us? How would those heroes of the faith be made perfect with us? 嗯，乜嘢係更加美、更加好嘅事咧？咁點解嗰啲信心偉人如果唔同我哋一齊得著嗰個應許，就唔能夠完全咧？ Now, the, again, the answer to this is when we go to the context of Hebrews and understand it, and of the Bible, the whole Bible and Old Testament, then we can understand or get at least ideas of what this might be talking about. 如果你真係要明白咧，我哋首先我哋又要睇下希臘文原文啦，亦都要睇下上文下理啦，甚至係成本聖經啦，誒、呃、包埋舊約啦，你就會更加明白。Um, and we can then get the idea that. The new and better thing planned for us that we got that they didn't get was the new covenant. 當我哋即係睇曬成本聖經啦，睇埋原文啦，咁我哋就會明白咧嗰個應許係啲乜嘢啊？呢個更加美好、更加好嘅事係啲乜嘢？就係咧恩典嘅約啊，神俾我哋同我哋立嘅恩典嘅約。Now isn't that closely connected with the promise of the Messiah? 嗯，呢一個應許咧就同誒舊約聖經以色列人佢哋盼望救世主嚟到呢一樣嘢係有關係喎。So you could even say the thing that was better,、uh, the thing that God had planned better for us was Jesus bringing the new covenant into effect. 我哋可以理解為咧，誒上帝咧為我哋預備更加美好嘅事咧，就係耶穌基督帶嚟恩典嘅約。Uh, now I have a quote from、uh, John Gill, and I'm just going to go through this a little bit.、Uh, they had Christ in the promise; we have Himself that which was promised. 呢一度咧就係誒 Scott 咧節錄咧有一本書啊，呢一本書咧係。嗯，個作者啦 ，John Gills， 誒，佢呢一度就寫到啦，啲以色列人咧，啊、呃，有基督作為佢哋，即係神咧應承會俾基督俾佢哋嘅，咁而我哋就得著基督本身啦，我哋得著基督呢一個應許。They had was what was like a shadow of Jesus, and we have the thing that's making the shadow Jesus himself. 以色列人咧，佢哋就好似有個影咁樣，佢哋就好似見到個影咁樣，因為佢哋一路期盼緊救世主幾時嚟啊，咁樣。但係我哋咧就已經認識耶穌啦。We have a better covenant or agreement with God。我哋同神之間立嘅約咧，係比神同以色列人喺舊約聖經啊立嘅約咧係更加美好嘅。A better priesthood, a better sacrifice. 有更加美好嘅祭司嘅制度啦，亦都有更加好嘅祭物啦。They were like children under tutors and governor,、uh, governors, like being as slaves in a spirit of bondage. 
，就好似咧誒舊約聖經嘅人就好似咧係有一個監護人嘅，有一個誒誒、呃呃、總督要去管理住佢哋嘅，佢哋咧有一啲捆綁，有啲限制嘅。That's under the law of Moses, but we have been redeemed from that law. 點解我哋要咁講啊？佢哋係俾啲咩限制啊？就係咧，佢哋要按住律法咁樣生活嘅。咁但係我哋咧就係、是、誒、呃、由律法當中咧就得釋放啦。We are free from the burdensome rights of that law, of its curse and condemnation. We have the spirit of liberty and adoption. 而我哋咧亦都唔需要再去按住咁多唔同嘅習俗啊、禮儀啊去做咁多誒嘅嘢，而我哋都唔需要承受咧啊被定罪啦、誒、呃、承受我哋犯罪得到嘅誒、呃、咒助啦。而家咧我哋有嘅靈係點樣啊？係釋放嘅靈，同埋咧係神接收咗我哋，神收養咗我哋，成為佢嘅兒女嘅。So how is it that those heroes of the faith could only be made perfect with us? How's that? Um, Chinese 就好似清楚啲啦。咁如果英文嚟講咧，就講到好似呢啲信心嘅偉人，如果唔能夠同我哋一齊去承受呢個應許嘅話咧，就唔完美啦。Well, remember that、uh, the word perfect in Greek means complete. 但係 perfect 完美呢一個字咧，喺希臘文嚟講咧，就即係完全，即係完成咗啦。咁樣先至係一件事噶嘛。咁樣有一種咁嘅感覺噶。Well, these men and women in Hebrews 11, they were commended for having great faith. They were considered righteous by God. They were taken to where were they taken when they died? Where were they taken? Taken somewhere good. Taken somewhere good. But they weren't complete until Jesus died on the cross. 咁喺希伯来书十一章咧提到嘅信心嘅伟人咧，佢哋嘅誒喺神嘅眼里边，佢哋做嘅嘢系公义嘅，系啱嘅。但系呢啲一切咧都未系叫做完完整整噶，直到耶稣基督喺十字架上完成咗佢嘅工作。Under the old covenant. Sins were forgiven. How? You make a sacrifice at the temple. Your sins are forgiven until when? Until next time. 喺旧约圣经咧，你犯咗罪点啊？喺旧约圣经嘅时候，你就要去献一个祭物咯，有诶公羊啊，或者系山羊啊，咁啊献一个祭物，跟住咁呢一个咁样嘅赎罪祭系可以延续到几耐咧？有个效用系几耐咧？就係、是、直至到你下次犯罪咯，你下次犯罪又要再咁樣去獻祭啦。Sometimes explain that the sins of those saints in the past that their their sins were rolled forward to the time of Jesus on the cross. Sometimes explain like that. 嗯，即係當時嘅人嘅罪咧，就一路我犯罪我就獻祭，然後我又會再犯罪咁啊，因為我係人嚟噶嘛，咁啊又再獻祭，直至到耶穌基督嚟到啦。But once in all, final, final forgiveness, final sacrifice for all time, for everyone, before and now, was in Jesus' death on the cross. But when Jesus came, he himself, a man who was without sin, was born on the cross, and became a perfect sacrifice. Only once in all, he could be forgiven for all time, for all time. Now here's a picture from a book by、uh, Gareth Reese, a book on Acts, and this might help a little bit. Um, 头啊头先嗰位作者，啊哦另外一个作者，呢度有个图表啦，佢俾我哋睇到系点样嘅。啊 ，before， 诶你可以留意红色嗰一点嘛。啊 ，before saints。Before the death of Jesus, went to paradise. Here. Um. 喺啊嗰啲喺耶穌基督之前嘅聖民聖徒，佢哋死咗之後會去到一個樂園嘅地方。Okay, this is not hell. 嗰度唔係地獄。And from the word paradise, well, a wonderful place, but not. In the presence of God. 
、呃，但係嗰度亦都唔係天堂。不過咧、呃，既然叫樂園咧，都係一笪好嘅地方嚟嘅。And those sinners went to Hades, and between them, the great gulf fixed, no crossing. 而罪人有死咗之後。喺耶穌基督嘅時代之前啊，嘅罪人咧，佢哋死咗之後就會去到陰間，而陰間同樂園咧係你唔可以互相去對方嘅地方嘅，陰間唔可以去樂園，樂園亦都唔可以去陰間。And from Ephesians 4:8, we get this idea that when Jesus after his death and resurrection, at the time he ascended to heaven, he led this group of people. 喺啊，以弗所書四章八節咧，俾我哋知道，當耶穌基督誒、呃、復活升天嘅時候咧，佢就帶埋樂園嘅人咧一齊升天啊。So maybe part of the idea of being made complete,、uh, we can get that from here. 嗯、um, ，可能咧喺希伯來書十一章三十九節講到話完全呢一、這個字咧，就係、是、形容呢一個狀況啦。So today,、uh, I would encourage you in this way. 今日咧，我就想鼓励大家。Please don't reject the Bible out of hand because there are things in it that are hard to understand. 千祈唔好因为咧，你见到圣经里边有一啲你未明白、觉得好难明白嘅地方，你就。Uh, if it's in fact a book of truth, and God's message to us is in it, then when we take time, if we invest time in understanding it, that'll be well worth our while. 如果呢一本書係真理嘅書，而如果真係上帝要藉住呢本書去俾信息我哋嘅話。係絕對值得你花時間、花心機去理解裏邊講啲乜嘢。And in the verses today, we can learn that,、uh, in comparison to those great men and women of faith in the past, our situation is better. We're better off. 我哋睇翻咧今日咧希伯來書嘅經文啦，哇！我哋相比起舊約嘅聖經偉人咧，我哋而家得著嘅嘢係更加好喎。We know the Messiah, the Christ. We're on the receiving end of the promise. Because 以前佢哋就盼望救主嚟到啦，但系我哋已经知道救主系边个啦，而救主亦都系已经嚟咗啦。So we have no excuse to falter in our faith, turn away from our faith. 我哋咧就冇藉口咧去犹疑啲乜嘢啦，去诶唔去信佢。We have received the promise. 因为我哋已经得着嗰个应许啦。We know what he did. We know how he did it. And we know his name. Jesus. 就是耶稣